All right, lesson three. Normally this is hour three, so I'm going through this a bit faster than usual. Uh, human genetic history. Also, uh, something. this is actually something that we now, in the 21st century, have a much better chance at knowing this stuff than anyone else because we've got DNA sequencing and we're starting to sequence uh, thousands of people at a time. So we're really starting to get some interesting evidence here. Uh, just a brief aside for climate change. Uh, climate change isn't new. Uh, so there's this thing that happened called the Ice Age. This is, uh, you could think of it as basically fallout that happened after the flood. So if we start, uh, first of all, there's tons of evidence for the Ice Age. It's, not, it's a real thing. It really did happen. And uh, there's actually evidence in the book of Job, which is the oldest book chronologically. Um, but Job was probably written during the Ice Age because there's more uh, examples of people talking about snow and, um, and cold and these sorts of weather patterns or seemed very interested in it. Um, so the way this ends up working is that, remember the ocean was just previously vaporized. So the ocean's hotter than the surrounding land. This is the reverse of what we have today. So warm air means that you have moisture, uh, lots, of, lots of moisture rising up off the ocean. Uh, but then on land, you have cold, dense air because uh, of evaporative cooling. Uh, the whole earth was recently muddy, and so you get evaporative cooling. And so the air comes in, and uh, it'll condense over land, but not in the water, and then you'll get... Um, and then you get all, tons and tons of snowfall. What's interesting about this is because we have a power source, the, the heat of the water, this process will not go on forever. Uh, is, is, the ice age will only last until the oceans have cooled off. In a secular model, I still remember in college, someone, uh, my climatology professor, describing the ice age, and he said there's actually a problem with this. It's called the snowball earth problem where uh, basically once you hit a certain level uh, of ice, it's uh, white and shiny, and so it reflects thermal energy back into space. It's called albedo. Uh, and so you can get it run away to where the whole Earth will turn into an ice ball and never recover. Uh, and so I said, well, the Earth is not covered in ice. Uh, and he said, some people think a meteor struck the Earth at just the right time to stop the ice age. And that's, that's the best they got. Um, but I, I like this a little bit better because we have a power source that runs out. Um, so features like the Grand Canyon, I showed you earlier, were carved out during the Ice Age. This, these are, so the layers are laid down during the flood, and then the carving can't happen at the same time. So the carving happens uh, during the Ice Age. Um, and what about cavemen? Uh, the short version is that it's racist to assume that cavemen are uh, primitives. Uh, when you have not a lot of trees and it's cold, uh, living in a cave is a great idea. Uh, caves stay warm. Uh, they're, I think, around 50 degrees all the time. I remember visiting, uh, there's a place called the Hole in the Wall uh, in, in Utah that uh, it's air-conditioned all the time. You know, good power bill. And with all of that radioactive material in the caves, there's even more heat. So uh, you can cuddle up with the uh, uranium deposits and it'll be very comfortable. Uh, so a question comes up a lot <laughs> is, is uh, post-flood dinosaurs. Uh, yes, dinosaurs probably did survive the flood. Yes, they were probably on the ark. Um, no, there's not a space problem because you want baby dinosaurs, not adult dinosaurs. Uh, but there's, there's some Bible verses about this, actually, right? Uh, the best one is the very lengthy description in Job on the Leviathan, which is particularly cool because it mentions fire breathing, some other cool stuff like that, armor plates. So, you know, if you're a fantasy nut, uh, this is going to be your favorite Bible verse. Uh, what's interesting, too, is later on, the Bible does actually mention, it doesn't say how, but it says that the Lord will slay the monster of the sea. Um, and then even later, uh, it's talking about it in the past tense as, um, as God has uh, slain the monsters in the waters and, 
And uh, so it doesn't say what happened, right? I don't know what happened. But uh, there's somewhat less scary giant monsters in the ocean. We still have giant squid, so that's cool. I like that. Uh, But probably something like the Leviathan described in the Bible is uh, most likely like a plesiosaur, uh, one of those kind of creatures. Fits the the description best. It mentions uh, that it can drag itself through the mud, uh, so you need some sort of limbs. Uh, It mentions a very long neck and the sharp rows of teeth. So we're probably looking at something like that. Um, The short version for why dinosaurs went extinct is really um, ecological change. I mean, why does anything go extinct? The larger you are, the more you're dependent on a very particular form of ecology. And so climate change is not nice. 